Just letting you know, this isn't the comp with the world record in it. I wasn't planning to make a video of this competition at all, but so many things happened that I had to. It was a pretty small comp. Listen to this. Before getting to the main point of the video, I just want to share some highlights. Before going to the comp, I was really nervous that I would lose my pathetic PR streak of 4, since I was known to choke when it is important at comps. For 3x3, three three, it was basically impossible for me to get an 8.5 on command, and I always get really close or completely choke for my average. 2x2 two two was basically just luck. As you can see from my times at home and my times at comp, you cannot predict what I get. So, I started sweating at 4x4 four four and Mega, grinding so much more than I have before. And as you can see, my times dropped. I was still very inconsistent at Mega, so I thought the 4x4 was my biggest chance. But concerningly, my 4x4 time started to rise again just before the competition. Back to what I thought was normal before starting the grind. So, it was time for the comp. 3x3 was up first. Just as expected, my first solve was trash. A 12 flat. I was very nervous, but I remembered that I started to adopt this new, slower turning style which prioritised looked ahead. Looked ahead. After what felt like a solve with decent look ahead and lots of mistakes, I looked down on the timer and saw 8.49, which tied my PR, which counts as a PR. All that nervousness and I achieved my goal, which I thought was so tough, on the second solve. Like, what? Oh yeah, and I also got uh, counting 9, and then I kind of messed up on the last two solves. But I still got PR average, and it was sub 11. Anyway... After a nice average that felt worse than it did on 2x2, I had Mega Minx, an event that, that I had high expectations on. What I didn't expect was a 118 on our very first solve. That's literally PB2. I had the most surprised face after the solve, which the footage I deleted. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. The rest of the average was really nice, exactly how I planned it to be. After a slightly disappointing 4x4 average, but still somehow not beating my PR single, and discovering the deep secrets and interesting topics of what's happening in the scrambling area, the main highlight of the competition happened. 2x2 two two finals. After recording the wrong way, so I was recording the crowd, for the very first solve and deleting the footage, and a mediocre second solve, the third solve happened. CLL. Honestly, go copy and paste that reconstruction into cubedv.net and watch the replay. It's hilarious. But that's not even the funniest part though. Right after this solve, this happened. I don't really have to recall my two very solves. I honestly don't care at this point. Ready. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> After a horribly slow recognition that I skipped the last layer, I use uh, LBO because I'm cool, just like the two people next to me. I finish with a time of 1.68, a PR by almost a second. Record wise, it wasn't anything special. It was honestly a horrible solve by most people's standards, but I decided to clap afterwards, just like Max Park. After gaining some attention, I started laughing and apologizing for making people think I got something remarkable. This last solve was irrelevant. This led me to a 5.37 average, which got me last place in the finals, but with the third best single of everyone. I mean, it wasn't that bad, right? Jonathan Charlesworth got a 13 on the scramble. Don't worry, I understand. That was basically the entire competition, except for one thing, the final solve of 3x3 three three finals. The scramble was so easy. Hello? Audio pro audio probably is probably horrible right now, but the scramble was on screen. And sh as you can see, this cross edge solved. This one's ready to go in one move. This one's ready to go in one move. Once you put this one in, this edge will be set up, ready to go in like that. And uh, so I, plan I probably plan it on about half a second. Uh, this pair will end up going here. Uh, 
and this pair will go here after you do the cross. So I did something like that and I did this first because it was easier and then I did that to pair it up insert there and I saw this one somehow instead of that one and I did like the block building thing which led me to a free pair and then I got this OLO and uh, this G pair GD but uh, I could have done a lot better because I messed up on the cross uh, as you may have seen probably but uh, on experiment see what would happen if I sold stuff in like a different way was that it? That's I misscrambled, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, so if I do that, and what if I saw this one first? I did that. Uh, Alright, this all and the F pair not too good. Try something else. Uh, what if I tried solving this one first? Because as you can see, if you solve it normally, this will still get preserved. This case isn't good, I'll probably do this one. Uh, okay. This OL, not too great, and A perm, okay. Uh, you solve that, what if you solve it like this? Uh, you get that, same pair. That. Bruh! Bruh! 